Hi, I'm Cassandra Mack, CEO of StrategiesForEmpoweredLiving.com, and I'm getting ready to conduct a workshop on how to manage the five generations in the workplace. And I'm calling it, as you can see from my PowerPoint, Intergenerational Supervision. So today I'm going to be meeting with a group of about 50 managers who are coming from organizations uh, within the five boroughs, and they'll be joining me today for this workshop. And we're going to be focusing on three specific things. First, what do you do when the different generations collide? How do you use generational conflict as an opportunity for professional growth, for collaboration, and as an opportunity for shared experiences? How do we do that? We're going to be talking about that today. Secondly, we're going to look at each of the five generations from the traditionalists to the baby boomers to Generation X to the millennials to Generation Z. How do you take each of these generations who are coming to you from different generational lenses and get them to align with your organization's mission, vision, structure, and for you as the supervisor, your strategic plans, goals, and objectives? So we got a lot of work to do this morning. And then thirdly, we are going to look at how do you begin to invite the different generations on board to have a strategy session so that you can begin to plan how you're going to move forward in terms of building teamwork and creating alignment. How do you include them in the process? So it is moving away from the command and control transactional style of leadership where you say, this is the assignment, just do it, and that's the end of it to really building a collaborative process that enables each of the generations to contribute their ideas around what works. Because the thing is, as a manager, oftentimes you are not on the front lines, but your staff is on the front lines. So they are able to see what works and what doesn't work from a different viewpoint. And you want to pull in that viewpoint as you move forward in terms of your goals and your strategic objectives. So that's what we're going to be doing today, and I'm really excited about it. And so I'm going to get ready to do the workshop, and when the uh, workshop is over, we're going to get a little bit of feedback from some of the participants who attended today so that you can hear from them the takeaways that they got out of today's workshop on intergenerational supervision, managing the multiple generations in the workplace well. So, if you would like me to come out to your agency to conduct a staff development training, you can go to my website, strategiesforempoweredliving.com, browse the course offerings, and you can take it from there. So, have an awesome day, and I will be back soon with feedback from some of the participants who took today's training with me. Have an awesome day. Bye-bye. So I'm here with another participant who took our workshop, Lau Delina, and I'm really excited. She took the workshop on intergenerational supervision, and she's going to give us some feedback around what she found helpful uh, in this workshop. So if you could just share your name and your job title and sure. take it from there. So my name is Lau Delina Marcos, and I am a supervisor within Foster Boarding Home. I, I felt that this training was extremely helpful for me. Um, being a fairly new supervisor and supervising others that are much older than I, I felt that this training um, really gave me general knowledge about um, different generations and how I as a supervisor could be more effective in working with them. Awesome. And what was most helpful? Was it the interaction, the, the activities, a, a particular technique? I believe that the, um, the techniques that um, you gave us providing us like hands on of what to say type of different scenarios um, for me like I said as a new supervisor I think that this um, was really effective because it gave me something um, really concrete that I could use awesome and would you recommend the intergenerational supervisory workshop to uh, your colleagues who are Absolutely. supervisors. <laughs> I'm actually going to look on to other trainings that you'll be offering because I definitely want to register <laughs> okay well awesome thank you so much thank for your you. feedback and thank have a you. great day so I'm really excited. I am here with Sherry today, one of the participants who took my workshop on intergenerational supervision. And we're going to get a little feedback in terms of what Sherry got out of the workshop. So tell us your name and your job title. I'm Sherry Bailey, and I'm a program coordinator. Awesome. And um, today I got to take this wonderful training. And um, the most, one of the most valuable things that I got out of it is well, two things. The first was just really getting a breakdown of the different generations awesome. and understanding 
um, the different nuances that come with each generation and also thinking about um, how they're motivated yeah. by, and how they prefer to communicate and it kind of gave more clarity on um, how you see people function in the workplace and different a variety of different generations and why it, it, things may be the way they are but also keeping in mind their exceptions to every role um, awesome. I also um, feel like one thing that I started to do was to correlate those um, generations that seen I've seen some similarities mm -hmm. so perhaps someone who's generation Z is raised by someone generation X and see how some of their um, preferences start to mirror one another myself I'm in the millennial group which is a very big group <laughs> but um, I was raised by a baby boomer and so that characteristic of being a workaholic I definitely got that trait, um, which my baby boomer dad wishes I didn't. He, <laughs> but um, it makes sense as to why some of the things that I do are a reflection of some of the things that are important to him and what he values. The second piece that um, I really felt valuable that I also was able to use is the last exercise um, where we pretty much take everything that we learn for the day and create a plan where we select a topic that we want to discuss with our staff, um, create a goal, and uh, some agenda items. For me, this was most important because I really was able to like take what I learned today and envision how I can use that in a larger um, theme or something that I really need to tackle as a supervisor with my staff in, in my program, especially with my programming. You know, so definitely appreciated that. And it was an awesome workshop today. Thank you so much and much success to you. Thank, Thank you. you. So I am here with Samantha, another participant who just mm -hmm. finished taking my workshop on intergenerational supervision and she's going to give us a little feedback around what she got from the workshop and what she found most value, valuable. So tell us your name and your job title and okay. take it from there. Okay, good. So my name is Samantha. I'm the Director of Maternal Child Health. Um, and I think my one takeaway was just learning that each generation has its own frame of reference um, based on the unique experiences of that time period in which they were raised um, and some of the struggles that they faced. So that's my, that's my big takeaway, just kind of learning more about that. Awesome. Um, I think what was most helpful to me was a didactic piece and um, getting that information, learning about the five different generations that we're currently working in that uh, show up in the workplace and normalizing some of their responses and motivations in the workplace. Um, and I can use this to better understand my staff and um, support my staff in understanding each other as a team. Awesome. And would you recommend this workshop to uh, another colleague who's a supervisor? Yes, absolutely. I will be sending some people <laughs> to this workshop at <laughs> the next iteration of it. Yes, absolutely. Okay. Well, thank you so much and have an awesome day. Thank you. You too. Okay.